Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. War, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Power-hungry dictatorships throwing their weight around, bombing cities and causing chaos and suffering, as though they were playing a video game. But these are real people dying. But do you think they care? Obviously not. Sometimes wars get started over border disputes, and other times it's a pride issue. But sadly, the most common cause of war, is money. Power and money. But these power-grabbing psychos always end up on the wrong side of history. How many people name their children, Adolf? And to this day, we don't fear the Nazis, we loathe them. We consider the Nazi leaders to be evil, and the Nazi soldiers to be cowards. The whole thing is an immeasurable tragedy, that word simply cannot describe. But there is an even greater war going on, that has even greater consequences. There will always be wars, and rumors of wars. But the mother of all wars, is the war for your soul. And your true enemy, Satan, makes the Nazis look like kindergartners. The reality is that we simultaneously live in a physical universe, as well as a spiritual universe. And Satan is your ultimate adversary. And you have but one defense, God. If you are not walking in total fellowship with the Creator, you are a vulnerable sitting duck, at extreme risk of harm. Satan comes only to kill, steal, and destroy. And you are his target. But you have a choice. Become another one of his victims, or become his worst nightmare. You can continue to be an unarmed civilian, or give your heart to God, and join his army of born-again soldiers for Christ. Then you will be able to overcome the schemes of the devil. You can put on the full armor of God, and be able to defeat the enemy. That starts with the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Then you hold it all together, with the belt of truth. Then and only then, can you be victorious in your spiritual warfare. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, such as bombs and guns, but our weapons are mighty in God, for the pulling down of strongholds. Of the different aspects of the armor of God, only one is offensive. A helmet and shield are defensive, but the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, that is your only offensive weapon. So you must learn to wield that sword with power and accuracy. It will do you no good, sitting on a shelf, collecting dust. Satan's main weapon is deception, so you defeat deception with truth. Overcome evil, with good. Overcome darkness, with light. Your other main weapon, is prayer. Communication with your commanding officer in the heat of battle, is critical. And that line of communication must remain open at all times. So yes my friend we are at war. And what is at stake is not just a border dispute, or a handful of houses. What is at stake is your very soul, your eternal destiny. Jesus said, the thief does not come except to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you may have life, and have it more abundantly. So give your heart back to its creator, and then you will pass from death, unto life. Only then will you find what you are searching for. Meaning, purpose, and your true destiny. Peace be unto you and your house. God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Embrace the truth. Stop running from God, and surrender your heart and life to your Creator. Only then will you find true peace. Only then, will you find true victory.